السلام عليكم guys welcome back to another edition of aqua crop FAO crop models in this video I'll be explaining to you how to import climate data in aqua crop and how to create climate file okay let's continue first of all in our previous videos I've explained how to install how to firstly download the aqua crops and uh, how to install it and how to create a text file because I explained in the videos that the aqua crop do not ex uh, accept that of a word file or excel file or a powerpoint file but a text file for a climate data and in that regard let's continue and how to import climate file first of all we go to this one and for I want to show you and what a text file look like uh, for a reference like you can see here we created this text file this is test aqua crop uh, 1996 to 1997 climate data we put this one this will be the data we'll be using or we'll be importing in aqua crop and creating our climate file now let's continue now and furthermore we come here directly we said aqua crop aqua crop and with the aqua crop we go to application we need we are interested in aqua crop application and now we click on this one and we open aqua crop we wait a little bit the aqua crop software will open and when it open and we proceed with our uh, importing our climate file now uh, before the uh, because the computer is a little bit slow you have to uh, now the computer is very a uh, little bit slow we are you have to bear uh, the computer for that and now it have appeared as the aqua crop appear we go to start this is the software have appeared aqua crop crop water productivity models and we go start as you click on start you see different variable here both the climatic variables you see the crop uh, uh, parameters uh, different parameters sorry different parameters you see climate parameter you see crop parameter irrigation fields that management area you see soil parameter soil profile in groundwater now is stimulation area but we are not concerned in any of these uh, places today we are concerned in importing climate file you click on this one you let's check the climate parameter in climate parameter you have description of climate parameter you have the rainfall you have et not you have temperature and you have co2 uh, if you look down here we say specify climate data with running aqua crops we have not created any file yet and this is our task today is to create rainfall file et not file temperature file and co2 file now with this one now we are not interested in this one as well just a bit of explanation and we go back and we say climate uh, we are say select or create climate file you select this one and now we are going to import climate file because we have already installed uh, downloaded and climate file and we convert this climate file from excel to text file and we have saved it in document in download and uh, in download and if you want to know how to do that you can watch our previous video for that and we, we say import as we click click on import we i said previously we save it in download we click on download as we click on download our climate file that we previous save will appear here in this download as we click on it we wait a little bit the computer you can see from the screen now the computer is even dancing uh, trembling that's it but well, no issue and uh, we'll be patient with it and now it appear this is the text aqua crop which we saved there 96 to this one we select this one when you select it you have to check down here selected file and you have to show selected file test aqua crop have appear here now we come to time range we said it is a daily data this one is already selected default daily data and we come here when it started we said it started from the 31st 
uh, the third of November, sorry. We said it start from third of November. We click down here, we select third of November. Which year, uh, which uh, month does November? We said November. And uh, what is the year it started? Third of November, you see, 1996. To where? 31st of, it go to 31st of May. The data we already is the 31st of May, 1997. This is the data range. This is data. We have now specified our data range. Now, the 30th of November, 1996 to 31st of May, 1997. Now, if we click on this one, we want to see if our data is correct. Now, you see now. It have the data it have accepted. It said the number of day, uh, daily record is 183 in specific time range, and our data is correct. If our data is not correct, we can see here that it will not accept. We cannot go further. Now we go to climate parameters. But you have to know your climate parameter. Each of the parameters that are in each role, because most with the role when we create uh, when we create the climate file. We do not put any uh, letter, all uh, figures, numbers. Only numbers were recorded there. We say, what was this one? We say this one was shun sign data. Shun sign radiation, we say, is how a day. We select that one. We said the next data was what? Is T minimum. We select here, we say T minimum. We, uh, temperature, we say temperature here. We said temperature T minimum is 103 is T minimum in degree centigrade. And we come here, we come and select the T maximum. We come here, temperature again, T maximum 101, that is degree centigrade. And we come to the final part in our data role. Uh, role number four is the rainfall data. We click on rainfall, we say rain. Rainfall, we say in millimeter. We select this one. And Aqua Crop have told us that all the data that is in our text files are correct. If this is not correct, uh, you do not do the correct. Aqua Crop will tell you that the data, there is a, a missing data. If there is a missing data, by default, it is minus 99.00. And but we do not have any missing data. All our data are fields are correct. And the data program here also, you can update data here. In default, Aquacop uh, consider rainfall 300 minima. This is the upper limit of rainfall. Now, in temperature, is minus 15 for the minimum and 45 for the maximum. These are the data range. As we know, oftentimes, most of the crops grow at this range, uh, 15 to uh, 45 degrees centigrade as agriculturists. We already know this one. And relative Humidity is 15 and degree aqua crop will convert this one and aqua crop will now create uh, Even though we do not have wind speed data, but aqua crop set a limit of 8 uh, uh, Meter per second wind speed and these are all default aqua crop will calculate this we close we save this and Continue we go to ET not as we click this one You can see here the aqua crops have station name. Uh, uh, the, uh, the aqua crop have already adjust this for us. Aqua crop have just adjust this for us, and now we put the station characteristic according to the data we downloaded. The, uh, the station characteristic is one forty six. That is the altitude of the station. We said this station is in decimal. The uh, the longitude and the latitude are in decimal. We said the latitude is uh, 32.64. We say 32.64. 32.64. That is in decimal. That is in not. That is 2.64 degree. Not. That is it. And uh, if we, uh, after selecting that one, and aqua crop is now telling us, aqua crop is now telling us that. It consider temperature, air temperature, maximum and minimum as air temperature. These are available. But humidity, air humidity was not available. Aqua crop, what aqua crop do? It estimated from actual vapor pressure. In actual vapor pressure, the minimum data, uh, the minimum temperature and the maximum data, you can calculate the actual vapor pressure. 
or that one and now radiation solar radiation net radiation solar radiation a uh, drive from the uh, duration of Schoenstein we have that data uh, aqua curve the wind speed winds estimate from specific average value and these are estimated value aqua crop have estimated all of this value for us and now it have calculated with estimate for air humidity and wind speed if we don't have it the minimum data set we have already have that one that's the temperature both minimum and maximum and that of rainfall and how our sunshine sunshine hour this one can uh, allow us to create climate file now when we have done all this feeling we go further we say import climate file now aqua crops by default have imported all of this force and now what we have to do we have to do climate file now we have to import climate files click on this import climate data when you click on import climate data these are all you say create climate file we click on this create climate file and we say rainfall that's the rain in rain here we have to select something here we come here we say select from the file we say select from rain data you select this one and aqua crop tell us that which rain data are you looking for we are looking for test aqua crop 11 this is what we select this one we say accept selected and we come here again we select 80 not and we say select data from database which one we are looking for we say test aqua crop this is the 80 not we are looking for we select it and we say accept selection we come again for temperature we select temperature we say select file from temperature database we come here again our pre-installed data is here we select this one or we say accept selection after we have select all of them here you see one two three four but in co2 file here aqua crop have already by default used mona loa co2 data you know in our previous classes sir Sa have been talking about mona loa observatories where they record the daily uh, 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 co2 concentration in the atmosphere uh, this one is from 1902 to uh, 2099 these are already there and we are using this by default we take this one after we have selected all this one we have selected all this climate parameter and we say create climate file we create climate file now aqua crop teller error file name is not specified and now for this one now you have to put your name here because this is the test we are uh, this video uh, some student requested that was to make video for their test for them to know how to create climate file and now i can like for me now that i'm making this video i can now say that because this climate uh, data that i'm using for this practice is from a sedibenos that's a morocco we say s i d i benus b e n n who you are Cerebenos, we say underscore and test t e s t test underscore we said k b k e b e k b and underscore we say 19 no november and o v n o v november say november 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 3rd 1996 to 1996 to 1996 to the 31st of May 31st of May M A Y 31st of May 1997 now we say here in the description we say daily 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 said the benus b e n n o u r benus benus climate data c l i m c l i cli l a i t climate
and now this one we have finished this one after we have moved the description the CLL file and now we select now we say create file we select create file automatically you have created the file now you can see daily set dependence climate data from 1996 to 1997 now we have created this file and after creating this file but one thing is that this is just for practice for crop uh, stimulation this data is not actually uh, going to be enough for uh, crop stimulation you can see here aqua crop is saying that growing cycle day one after sowing 27 of maturity to 1996 and the data is not actually a uh, that of the data is not actually good and now but for like for practice sake for creating climate file it is okay now to know if we have successfully created this one and also for you to do a uh, uh, maybe the lecturer will ask you for you to prove that you have already uh, you know how to create the climate file now you come you click on climate file again you get climate uh, display update and uh, climate characteristic from here you can see here now uh, these are all climate file we have created from 1996 to uh, 1997 daily rainfall uh, November this one uh, all of these things are there what you do here now you screenshot this one you screenshot this one uh, you screenshot the rainfall data this is rainfall graph the rainfall graph you screenshot this one and you screenshot this one as well and the temperature uh, file here temperature and you screenshot the co2 file and you can now send this uh, screenshot to the lecturer or during the exam the lecturer will check if you are able to do this one if, uh, uh, that you are be able to do this one that is all the end of the uh, day and thank you so much for watching and i hope if you have any question or there's any confusion and you can uh, contact me or you put the uh, description below uh, the description below any comment so that i will look at them and thank you very much i'm also a student i'm practicing if there's uh, any mistake in it I just uh, take it as a practice uh, video thank you and now we can save this one now and uh, in our file file name just say kb t e b e kb c l i file kb c l i file oh, i can save this one for for me to use in for digest thank you thank you thank you thank you please if there is any issue with it just consider it as uh, like it is practice video and there is no big issue and I'll be able to uh, respond to your questions as you may ask.